welcome back to see it with us this is the video picks app tutorial for version 1.1 newly released on the app store we're really excited about some of the features that uh, we were able to get in version 1.1 and without further ado I'd like to show you what some of those are we'll go ahead and launch the app if you have version 1.0 you'll be quite familiar with this screen uh, the first thing it asks you to do is select a video and I've got a video right here that I'd like to work with it brings it into the Apple chooser asks you to confirm that's the one you want and then it brings us into our UI and the first thing uh, that I wanted to show you is like the previous version it brings it into the slow motion player and starts to play the video in slow motion so one of the things that we've done in this version that really has enhanced the the application is we have added uh, a lot more support for portrait mode video the iPhone is really unique in the way that it supports portrait mode video and when you get used to shooting in portrait mode it's really nice some of the things that we've done is we've turned our control arrows our forward and back arrows and the play button to support the portrait mode much better than it did in the previous version so what I'd like to do here is I'm going to use the uh, scroll bar to scroll to approximate point in the video and then I'll use the navigation keys that are on the bottom single frame forward and the single frame backwards button to get to the point where I want to take the exact photo one of the things that we've done is really enhance the speed of the fast forward and fast backwards buttons so it makes browsing your video a real pleasure as with before you can use the single frame forward and single frame backwards buttons to navigate the video and get to the point where you have the exact shot that you want so here what I'm going to do is I'm going to freeze the whale on the way up and I'll hit the little save icon we've also streamlined the tab interface we now just have save and done where we had uh, multiple tabs for that same purpose before so I want to grab another picture of the whale how do you stop a whale in midair there's an app for that okay so I've got three or four shots and I'm pretty happy with that so now I'm just gonna hit the done button which is the red X and it'll take me back to the main screen that's gonna be it for this tutorial on opening and saving pictures on uh, video pics 1.1 uh, please join us in the next tutorial which will talk about our new enhanced library functions and uh, ways to distribute those pictures once they're saved so thanks again and tune into the next video.